Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we will be creating a wood organization rack with removable and interchangeable shelves and containers. Now I wanted to make this very personable and able to accommodate many uses without compromising quality but keeping it on a budget. So for your convenience, I provided a list of supplies and tools used to make this project in the description box below. Now I'm so ready to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my awesome subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now if you are a new visitor to my channel today and you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now let's jump right in. For this project, we will need three packs of the five gallon paint stir sticks from Lowe's for 98 cents. We'll also need a couple of these white over the door hook racks from Dollar Tree. We'll need one of these mountable hook racks from the Dollar Tree as well. We'll also need these three pack of tumbler containers from the Dollar Tree. One of these wood crates from the Dollar Tree. We'll also need one wood puzzle from the Dollar Tree. And one of these floating shelves from the Dollar Tree. Now the first thing we're going to do is to grab those paint sticks and we want to remove the packaging so we can stain them. Now we're going to go ahead and protect your work surface and gather up your staining supplies. Now I will be using this Jacobian stain by Minwax for this project, but you can use diluted acrylic paint or antique wax if you like. Now on your sticks you notice there's a printed side and a blank side so be sure to stain the blank side. Now you want to start to apply your stain on the front and the sides and at the ends of all of your sticks. Now once all of your sticks are stained, you could just sit those to the side to dry. Now while they're drying, we can start on the accessory holders. So I'm going to start with the tumbler containers and I'm going to separate them and prepare them for painting. Now I'll be using this black acrylic paint to give the containers a chipped enamel effect. Now I'm going to take a fine paintbrush and start applying that paint along that middle ridge of the container. And I'm just applying this in a random pattern. And then I'm going to repeat the same process for the bottom of the container. And then I'm going to do the top edge as well. And once this container is done, just repeat this process for the remaining ones. Now to protect our accent, I'm going to apply some of this matte Mod Podge over the painted sections of the containers to prevent it from coming off. Now I just want to apply one generous coat over those painted sections and allow them to completely dry. And here is what a container looks like nice and dry. Now I'm going to lay out my Sherbonder silicone mat and grab one of those over the door hook racks. Now I'm going to take some wire clippers because I want to start to separate each one of these hooks. Now you can also use the sticky hooks from the Dollar Tree as well, but these will be a little bit more secure on the rack. So now here are all of the hook pieces we'll be using in this project. So now I'm going to be applying these to my tumbler containers. Now before applying, you do want to take some pliers and you want to narrow the hooks and make sure that that loop is nice and tight so it'll fit snugly on the rack. Now to apply these, I'm first going to be applying a bead of E6000 to the side of the container. And then I'm going to follow up by placing a bead of hot glue on each side of that E6000. And then just press your hook into place and press it in there nice and firmly and then repeat this on the other containers. Now here are all my containers with their hooks and I added a few pieces of painters tape to hold it while it dries. So next we're going to grab that wood puzzle and we're going to take off the plastic and remove all of those puzzle pieces. Now I will be securing the puzzle pieces into place so it won't have hollow dips in the back. 
Now you just want to flip it over and I'm going to be staining a border on the back of this puzzle. So go ahead and grab all of those staining supplies. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to apply the stain around all four sides of the puzzle piece in the back and I want to make this about an inch wide. Now you want to let this dry and once it is dry you want to apply some painters tape around the stained border. Now for the center I will be using this chalkboard paint that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm just going to apply the paint to the center and I want to cover the whole area and let it completely dry. Now once it is dry, just go ahead and remove that painter's tape to reveal your new chalkboard. Now and you all know I love to have a finished look even on the back of my pieces, so I'll be covering the back with some craft paper. And all you want to do is apply hot glue around the puzzle side and then press that craft paper into place. Then go ahead and grab your cutting mat and an X-Acto knife and then just trim off all of that excess. Now in order to use our chalkboard on our rack, I'm going to be applying some hooks. So I grabbed that second over the door rack and what I'm going to do is just be cutting out a set of two hooks together for this. Now you do want to make sure you clip off that over the door part. So in here I'm just squeezing those hooks together a bit to make sure it'll have a nice snug fit on my rack. And then for placement, um, I'm just going to mark a line about an inch down from the top. And then once your line is drawn, you just want to align the top of your hooks on that line so the placement is nice and even. And then apply some E6000 to the back of the hooks and then you want to follow up with a bit of that hot glue. Now once it's all applied, just add a little bit more hot glue along those edges for extra security. Now I wanted my chalkboard to be vertical, but you can also apply the hooks for a horizontal hanging if you like. So next we're going to work on the wood crate and we're going to start off by staining it on the inside and out. And we want to make sure you get into all those corners and the creases of the crate and let it completely dry. And then you can take your crate and your floating shelf and we're going to be adding hooks to those. So go ahead and unpackage your floating shelf. Now for the crate, I'm just going to take a pair of those hooks and I just want to snip off the top of the hooks. Now these can be snipped off with a pair of wire clippers and they can easily snap off by just wiggling them back and forth. Now you just want to make sure that both of the hooks are close in size. And once the size is good to go, go ahead and apply your two adhesives, E6000 and hot glue to the hooks, just like we did before. And we're gonna apply the hooks evenly to the back of the crate container. And once they are in place, go ahead and reinforce them with a bit of hot glue. Now for the floating shelf, you want to do the same thing and we're going to take um, another set of loose hooks and what we're going to do, cut it down to size by wiggling it back and forth and it should snap off. Now you do want to squeeze them together as tightly as you can and I found out the closest you squeeze that hook part together, the more snug it fits on the rack.
and then when your hooks are the nice size you just go ahead and adhere them to the back of your floating shelf and then back it up with a little hot glue And now here are all of our pieces and accessories to the rack and we want to let these sit overnight to cure and dry. So while those are drying, um, we're going to lay out the grid mat and grab those paint sticks. So here I'm determining the spacing of the sticks and seven sticks will be laid out about an inch and a half apart all the way down. Now the two remaining sticks are going to go on the sides and you want to lay them out evenly right on top on each side and you notice the sticks end up being a little too long so make a mark in the top where you need to cut off the excess. So now that our sticks are cut we can start to assemble the rack. Now in order to make sure everything stays in place I'm just going to apply some tape to the back of the side sticks so they'll stay right in place when you start to apply your sticks. So now you can start to apply the sticks on the side rails and we're just going to do this by applying hot glue. Now remember you just want to space your sticks an inch and a half apart all the way up. Now when that rack is fully assembled, just go ahead and flip it over and we're going to strengthen those slats so I'll be using these half inch wire nails to do the trick. Now since these are pretty small, I'm going to use some needle nose pliers to hold them while nailing them in. Now I'll be placing two of these nails in each one of the slat sides. And here are all of those nails applied. Now our rack is nice and secure. So now that that's done, we can take our mountable hook rack and we're gonna remove all of those parts and tags. Then go ahead and grab your wood rack and we're gonna be applying those hooks to the back along the bottom of the rack. Now we just want to make sure the hooks are facing the finished side of the rack and we're going to apply some E6000 on it where the contacts are made to the board. Now to hold it in place, I'm going to use some of these clamps from the Dollar Tree to hold it and these keep it nice and secure while you're working. So once it's clamped into place, go ahead and take your hot glue gun and you want to apply it all along the contact points of that rack and you do want to make sure that you let this dry overnight. So now that everything is bonded overnight, you can start to play around and add your containers to your shelves of, and your shelves to the rack. So I'm just going to remove all of the tape and everything and you can place and arrange the pieces however you like and that's the beauty of this creation. And all of the handy hooks that we put on the back make this super easy. And here is our organization rack all decked out and decorated. I am so happy with the way that this turned out. Now I love the assortment of the containers and how you can switch them around and make as many as you like. Now you can use this piece in an office, you can use it in a kitchen, even a kid's learning space or a craft room. I think the possibilities with this piece are endless. Now this DIY was requested by the viewers and I hope that it was everything that you needed it to be and I had so much fun designing and creating it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook for the latest new sneak peeks and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. 
If you like videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.